All right, guys. Dev gear whore again. What am I whoring today? You don't know what it is. I explain. no. Explain it to me, but because you cut it. All right. Gear whore. Gear whore. Gear whore. It's the Rev 33. It's this thing. Uh, you know, this is your in-ear pack. Uh, I'm using a Sennheiser just because that's what's available and it, it works good. But it's this little thing. It's called the Rev 33. And it's been, uh, it's confusing for people who don't know what it, it does. And uh, it's, see if I can explain it in a way that doesn't seem like it's just voodoo juice. Basically, when you run these in-ears like we, like we do, they're, um, they seal off your ears and they're form fitted to your ears so you, it's like a 25 db cut and it basically cuts out most of your ambient environment and if you got a click track and if you uh, have grown up listening to metal as loud as i have you i still crank these things up it's like people are like well you wear in ears so you can be a little more careful with your hearing and i'm like <laughs> you can hear it from the other room still mm -hmm. so my hearing has taken a ton of hits what the rev 33 does is I had a meeting with the guy, and um, if you plug it in, it sounds maybe a little different because you plug your headphones into this and then this into your input. So your headphones run through this. And it sounds a little different, like maybe it's a little clearer in the low end and maybe the high end isn't quite as harsh, but it's it's so slight that there's been some people that have listened to it and don't notice a difference at all. If anything, it sounds better, but it does very little on the surface. But what the engineer, uh, explain to me is that the way that the in-ears move and the way that the vibrations are are carried into the drivers of your in-ears um, produces a a kind of distortion that is not audible but how it hits your eardrum is chaotic just by the nature of it so what the Rev 33 does is it, it I guess it either reverses that or flips a polarity on it. So the way that your drivers vibrate are less chaotic. This is how I would explain it. Okay, that doesn't make any sense. But No, it does. It does. So basically the result of it is when you're finished listening to the music as loud as I listen to it, my ears are substantially less ringing, substantially less fatigued. And it's one of these strange things that as I get older, my whole job is my, my ears. And um, to have anything sort of help in this sense is really a godsend. And, and after touring with it for several years now, uh, it really has a significant impact on my tinnitus. So it's a small preventative, largely unsexy thing to own because it doesn't really do anything. But what it does in the long term is is really help save whatever hearing of your <laughs> that you still have left. So Rev Thirty Three, it's a really interesting product, and uh, we all use it in the van. So does it mess like the frequencies? Maybe that's what it does. does I don't it know. That? If you go to their site, I'm sure it's Rev Thirty Three dot com. They have all the science. They do, and I read it and didn't understand it either. Rev Would it be something you can use with your like uh, if you're listening to your iPod or your? You totally or... can. That's a good idea. That's actually a really good idea. I should yeah. do that on the plane. I keep forgetting to do that. Yeah, you can. And it helps because a lot of times you'll be pounding uh, music and when you take it out, it's like pain and you hear the, the sizzle and the high frequencies sort of missing. But uh, this really counteracts that with some sort of weird voodoo. So weird voodoo. Rev but how's it powered? It isn't. It's passive. It just It's the frequency runs through a bunch of coils and then straight into there. So there's no battery oh. or anything. Yeah, it's awesome. I highly recommend, as a whore for gear, that you buy a Rev 33. This is Devin with Zim, who's a whore for other types of gear, saying, suck it. <laughs>